Hey everyone. I was loading up the uh, truck for our next camping trip and I thought, well, maybe I'll show you guys the, uh, the new tow rig. And uh, it's not really a review. I, I just kind of wanted to just point out some good and bad and some of the, some of the reasons why I chose to go with a three quarter ton for my next truck uh, versus what I had before. So stay tuned and uh, take a look. So here's the new tow rig. It is a Ram 2500 with the Hemi 6.4 V8. No diesel. I didn't feel that I uh, really tow enough to justify the cost on the diesels. And uh, so far the, uh, the Hemi's done pretty good. I've had a, one camping trip already and it turned out pretty nice. I uh, didn't really notice any lack of power at all. So coming from a, uh, a half ton truck, this was definitely a, uh, an upgrade, so to speak. I'll put a picture up here of uh, the half ton uh, F-150 that I owned. It was a 2013, so it was 10 years old, well-maintained. But it was just really time to trade her in. So, you know, some of the things that uh, I felt made my decision in the three quarter was just the fact that I do tow. And we do have a travel trailer. And it's, although not a huge travel trailer, it's still about 34 feet long. Uh, I think max gross vehicle rating on it is 7,600 pounds. So fully loaded, you know, it's, it's a decent amount of weight, especially for a half ton truck. So the biggest really factor in my decision, the number one at least, is just a safety rating. So there's a big difference in main thing is payload capacity when you get between a half ton and a three quarter ton truck. So with the half ton truck that I had, the payload capacity was, I think around 1,350 pounds. So when you move up into the three quarter ton, especially a non-diesel, you get a lot more payload capacity. So in my opinion, it was a big safety factor. So with this three quarter ton, I have roughly 2,900 and I think 30 pounds of payload capacity. Let me double check that. I'll show you guys the sticker here. Yeah, so the sticker here says it's uh, 2924. So quite a big difference between that and the half ton. Uh, the payload capacity obviously was a big difference. And you know, with the travel trailer fully loaded, I think the tongue weight was 900 pounds, roughly 950. Um, you know, that's, that's a lot of weight. You know, you subtract the uh, 900 from the 1300 that the half ton had. You put a couple people in there and uh, that's not counting bikes, firewood or anything in the bed of the truck. And you're pretty close to your capacity, if not over already. So not much of a safety factor uh, versus, you know, the same trailer with this truck, you know, fully loaded, you, you're still several hundred pounds um, well, almost a half a ton difference in your payload capacity that you have remaining. So big, big difference there. So that, that was a big one. Um, I wanted to make sure I had that extra safety factor and, you know, do we tow a lot? Well, I think we average two to 3000 miles a year, just on the camper. Uh, you know, I do have a, a smaller uh, utility trailer. You know, I, I tow the Kubota every now and then. Um, tow a few other items here and there. So there, there's a decent amount of towing. Um, maybe maybe upwards of 50%, basically, the mileage I put on is, is towing. So there's a lot of components on the three-quarter tons that are just much, much better, heavier, um, more duty cycles basically, that I would get out of a three-quarter ton versus the half ton. Half ton did it well. Uh, I, I will give it that. Um, had plenty of engine power, um, but it was just, 
it was just time to trade and, and, and upgrade. You know, I'd, I'd done many things in the half ton truck. Uh, I upgraded the tires to light truck tires. I'd put airbags on it. And, um, you know, that, that helped a bit with some of the, the sway and stuff you get with a travel trailer. But um, it, it's still a much different experience with the three quarter ton truck. So I, I'll do a quick walk around. This isn't really, like I said, a full featured video of these uh, these Ram heavy duties and you know all the different features that they have. There's there's so many different options that you can get with them. Um, this is a this is a Laramie model, so it, it's pretty nicely equipped, and it, it does have a, a different type of a, a package. It's, it's just the the night edition, so. It has some blacked out features and stuff. So, you know, good and bad about that package. We'll start right off. Uh, I love the looks. I, I think it really makes it stand out. Black wheels, black accents everywhere. I'm not a fan of painted bumpers. I had the problem on my, my last truck, the F-150, with stone chips on the front. And if you don't keep up with them, they will rust these metal bumpers. And I have... Um, a little over a thousand miles driven so far on this one, and it does have a couple stone chips already. So we will uh, we'll get the bumper wrapped, um, just just to kind of protect that paint a uh, little little bit longer let longevity on on the on the bumper and the paint itself. But that is definitely a negative. I, I I do not like painted bumpers. I love the looks, but I do not like the durability. So towing, that was one of the biggest factors of getting the three-quarter ton truck. So we'll come around to the back and I'll kind of show you one example. So the hitch receiver on these, you can kind of see where it's smaller here. This is a two inch and then the shank increases to the two and a half. Two and a half receivers, what you get on three-quarter ton trucks, which again, another big safety factor, the the hitch was well well designed on the half ton, but the three quarter ton is definitely heavier. It's mounted more points, heavier bolts. It's definitely in the three quarter ton well constructed. So, you know that's that's a that's a big factor, big safety factor, and uh, one less thing that I have to kind of worry about. So the next thing here, I'll, I'll kind of take you underneath the truck here. Just wanted to show you another thing that. I wasn't I wasn't sold on. It is a great feature if you're towing a lot. Uh, it does have its advantages, and there's obviously some disadvantages. But we'll take a look. So if you're not sure what we're looking at here, basically that's one of the airbags. So for rear suspension, it does have air suspension instead of the traditional coil. So that is definitely a, definitely a big difference in how you tow. It, it's, it's a nice feature. There's a lot of mechanics that go around that nice feature that I'm not too thrilled about. If it gives me no problems, then I'll be ecstatic. Um, I don't have my hopes up for that <laughs> scenario, but it is really great because no matter what load you put on the back of it, it just auto adjusts and levels itself. So that's a pretty neat feature. Um, just kind of just glancing around at some other things, you know, you can kind of see uh, you got these torsion bars. Uh, you know, I, I didn't have these in the F-150. Um, the transfer case, I mean, it's, I can't even tell if that's a, kind of a shock shock absorber on the transfer case at the very top, but it is definitely another mount. That's that yellow piece up there. I'm not exactly sure what that is, but I know the F-150 never had that either. So, but a bunch of different components that make it, you can see the axle shaft there, pretty, pretty heavy duty. The axles themselves are much larger tubes, so, that's what you get in a three quarter ton. It doesn't necessarily look like it from the outside that it's much different, 
but it's the mechanics and everything underneath and uh you know the engine and different different components that really make it worthwhile so here's a, another feature that i really like has nothing to do with towing though but uh these bigger trucks have a pretty big uh pretty big step up to the tailgate from the bumper so you can actually get a step that comes out that allows you to step up onto the tailgate. Now I know lots of different ways, lots of different companies have done this. You know, GM has the steps in the bumper, Ford does now too. Um, they also have the tailgate, you know, steps that fold down, um, which I, I think the Ford does a good job on, on those different various options. I like this option because it's just, it's, it's neat. It's, it's very minimal and it's functional that's that's really all all i need it's just another way to get in and out of the truck easily um, and the way the tonneau cover works on here it's a tri-fold for my particular case so it just it folds over and then folds over this this area in here isn't really accessible by the side so i didn't feel the need to put anything on the side step area so it, it worked out pretty pretty good for me. So just just a quick look on the inside here. I mean, like I said, this is not a full full review, but uh, the Rams are are pretty nicely equipped. Very comfortable interior. Everything's easily accessible. Since we're talking about towing, here's your trailer brake control right there. So very, uh, very, very happy with how, how the truck handles, for sure. That's pretty much in a nutshell, um, some of the reasons why I upgraded. I mean, there's, there's other various reasons. I mean, braking is so much better. Um, just handling, I mean, just, Overall, the truck sits up a little bit higher, so visibility is a little bit better. So there, there's definitely some different items that, you know, I'm not going to get into. But I, from a safety factor, I highly recommend, you know, if, if you're kind of towing. And, you know, it doesn't necessarily even have to be super heavy towing. But uh, the three-quarter ton trucks, they definitely handle a bit better. So if, if you guys have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below. Like I said, I didn't want to make this a, a full review video. I just, we're packing up, getting ready to leave for another camping trip. And let's uh, go. I left one thing, one important thing out of the video, and it's these mirrors. So people make fun of these mirrors when they see them when they're towing, but I'm telling you, they didn't have it wrong. I mean, they really do give you good visibility. So for tow mode, you flip them up and you're ready to go. Yeah, you may have to adjust them a little bit when they're in the flipped up position, but that's very minor. Uh, visibility on these things was great. So I had no issues with these mirrors. I know the newer ones, they've changed a little bit. They're more like the Fords, they slide out. But to me, it's simple, less mechanics to worry about, and they're very functional. So that's it, guys.